Hello viewers, today for service and repair we have a Galaxy 16 inches oscillating table fee in and I believe this video is going to end up being cut into two or three parts because today I want to go through here and do a preliminary check out of the problems that we might have and find out what parts we need to order and then in the second video I will replace those parts if needed and then we'll clean it up and service the motor perhaps it'll do it in three parts I don't know I believe this is the first Fian clean and service and repair video that I've done in this house so that's kind of neat perfectly good one to start off with too because this is one I've been looking for for a while so first I'm going to start with uh, getting the measurement from the kilowatt meter which would be nice to have those in the video so I'm going to go ahead and move this over would have been nice if the table was a little more presentable but uh, oh well if I spent the time cleaning it up, I wouldn't have the time to do the video, so it's kind of a, it becomes a double edge, as they say. Alright, so we got the kilowatt meter there, and you can't even see what's on there. <laughs> okay, that's kind of abysmal. Let's see if I prep it for that. Does that make it any better? Maybe you can see that, I don't know. Anyways, it's 120 volts right on the nose. Start off with the amps. According to the information on this unit, which appears to have something within it, it should draw approximately 0.9 amps. And curiously enough, it says Sears on the bottom, even though this clearly is labeled Galaxy. Tilter thing is busted in this. There's a surprise. Okay, here we go. We'll start off with the low. That's already up to 0.6 amps, which is a little bit higher than I would have expected. power factor of 0 0.89 0 0.9 which is a little bit lower than I would have expected and the watts is 63 medium it just seems really sluggish to me So that's 0.71 amps, 74 the watts with a power factor of 0.87. And that is pulling 0.88 amps, 84 the watts with a power factor of 0.81, which is pretty poor for a, a PSC motor. It should be well into the point nines and only at point eight one. Uh, so it's drawing point eight five amps, which is not far off from what it's supposed to be. Uh, rating a point nine and getting point eight five is, is perfectly reasonable, but the power factor doesn't seem right to me. So I'll go ahead and shut it off, and I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the capacitor. Now I don't find that the capacitors fail in these very often, but they are getting old and at some point the capacitors are going to start drifting and it's possible that we're starting to get to that era in time. That is unfortunate, but that just might be the case. So we'll go ahead and remove the guard.
I don't like these uh, clips. I wish these used the metal ones because these always tend to break. And as you can see here, somebody has placed multiple uh, wire ties on here, probably because the clips broke at a previous servicing you know, performed by someone that's not really fluent in uh, working with this kind of stuff. Even I've had them break on me a handful of times. I believe you can still get them because I think the the little Air Queen still uses them for some psychotic reason. I'm not certain though. Okay. Yeah, someone has definitely been in here cleaning this thing, which is good, but uh, it's also deceiving because now we don't really know how many hours it has on it until we get into it. You can see the inside of the blades here have much more accumulation than the outside, so it definitely has been cleaned at some point in its life. and pretty poorly at that. We got some pretty deep stages of yellowing going on here. Yeah, we definitely got some hours on this thing. Water's pretty, uh, those windings are in pretty scary shape. I think this is going to have to be varnished because, take a look at this, and you'll notice here that all these wires are freely moving around which will eventually cause the insulation to wear off and then it gets a short and you'll experience what's called a mortar burnout. So that's not good. Really can't use this much until that's fixed. That's not a big deal, it just adds another step to the process. Okay, now, here we go with this. It just pulls off. It doesn't seem right, but it just pulls right off. Not right off, it definitely takes some effort. But the official answer is to just rip it off. Um, I'm not applying as much strength as I can to it because it doesn't feel right. There it goes. It, it, it does take a, a lot of effort to get it off. Um, you won't break it, that's just the way it is. So, oh, what the heck? It's one of those piece of trash capacitors. That's not what I was expecting at all. I well, no wonder it doesn't work right. These are garbage, these capacitors. No good. We'll check it. You get a reading on here, but I'm almost certain that this is why it's not working properly. These capacitors, uh, they're just junk. They very consistently break. Well, not break, but drift. These are not, not good pieces of equipment. 
Um, I'd like to kind of just desolder it if I could. I don't lose any of the uh, any of the leads, but I don't think that it's going to cooperate enough to do that. So. I'll just cut it as deep in there as I can. Alright, so let's measure this piece of junk and see what the capacitance is. It's supposed to be three and a half microfarads. Um, so let's see. I'll have to strip back the wires and then I'll get a get a meter around here and we'll check it. I don't think I have any three and a halfs on hand, so I have to order some. I keep like 35s, 5s, 7s, stuff like that on here, but I don't keep uh, three and a halfs. Yep, it's gone. Our junky little capacitor is reading 1.8 microfarads and that's without any load. You know these meters, although they'll give you a good idea, they don't tell the whole story because when there's load on this capacitor it's going to be even less. So we'll say at idle it's approximately half of what it's supposed to be. So that's why the VN is not working good. So we're going to go ahead and order a new capacitor we're going to discard this one because it's garbage and uh, we'll get a new capacitor to replace that and that should solve the problem completely.